Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, in this particular video, I will be discussing today's coding question, which was asked in Accenture exam. So this exam happened today only that is on 7th November 2024. So make sure that you're watching this video till the end so that you can get to know what type of questions are getting asked in the exam. So guys, I know that many of you are having your exam in the coming days. Okay, many of you were sending me dates of your exam on Telegram also. So I will continue to make such more videos, but make sure to hit the like and subscribe button for this channel okay so every like and subscribe will motivate me for making more such videos and the more videos i make the more information you will have about what type of questions are getting asked because in accenture coding questions do get repeated okay so i hope all things are clear to you so guys now let's start this video make sure to watch this video till the end because in the middle of the video i will also be telling you about the resources from which you can prepare okay i know many of you don't know from where you should prepare so we have resources i will tell you how to prepare for and from where to prepare for your upcoming accenture exam so guys now let's start this video okay so guys first of all i will be discussing the question then the approach of this question and finally the coding part of the question i will be discussing so the question here is <clears throat> the function accepts an integer array and its length and two integer variables num and difference implement this function to find and return the number of elements in the array having an absolute difference of less than or equal to difference with the num so i know the question is a bit confusing but let's just see with the help of an example okay so there is one note also given in case there is no element in the array whose absolute difference with num is less than or equal to difference return minus one so we will see what it is saying so what uh, the question is saying <clears throat> we are given an input array okay this is an input array we are given two other inputs as well one is num one is difference so what we have to do we have to find the absolute difference of this num with every element of the array and if that absolute difference is less than or equal to 2 is less than or equal to this diff then we have to increase the count and we have to give the number so what we'll do we will take this number we will do absolute difference of with this number then if the difference is less than or equal to 2 if it is then we will increase the count by one similarly we have to do for every element and we have to find the number of elements whose absolute difference with the with this number is less than or equal to this two okay and if we found no such element if no element are there then we have to simply return minus one so let's just now quickly see the approach of this question approach will be really simple but we'll do first of all let's take all the elements of the array okay let's take all the elements of the this array just a second <coughs> yeah so first element is 12 then 3 then 14 then 56 then 77 then 13 okay what is num num is 13 i guess num is 13 okay num is 13 and difference is 2 so we will take this num we will find the absolute difference with the first element first so what is the difference between 13 and 12 it is 1 so is 1 less than 2 one less than or equal to two answer is yes so one is less than or equal to two so we have taken the account variable we will increase it by one then we are going to three we will take the absolute difference of this three with this 13 the difference is coming out to be 10 is 10 less than or equal to two answer is no so we will not do anything we will do we will go and find next one so 14 minus 13 it is one absolute difference is one one is less than or equal to two yes so we have found one more element that is two count becomes two next is 56 56 minus 13 is less than or equal to 2? No, it is not. Next is 17. 17 minus 13 is less than or equal to 2? Answer is no. Then there is 13. 13 minus 13 is less than or equal to 2? Yes, it is. So count is 3. Count is 3 here. Okay. So this is our answer. In the end, this is our answer. Now it was saying that if the after iterating, iterating the all the elements of the array, if the count here is still 0, then we don't have to return 0. We have to return minus 1 instead okay i hope now the question and the approach is clear to you let's just quickly move towards the coding part of this question okay so guys before moving ahead i would like to tell you that an, on our top mid page at code bashers we have accenture preparation material for 2025 batch yesterday only we have launched it okay so in this particular preparation material we have total seven sections covered that is english ability critical reasoning and abstract reasoning common application and ms office pseudo codes network security and cloud coding questions so for all these uh, sections we have around 110 plus questions for all these sections and these questions are previously asked in accenture only 
So if I show you the sample of let's suppose common application in MS Office. So this is the sample of this particular PDF. So in this you can see we have the question, we have the options, we have the right answer for it. Okay. So I know many of you are struggling for different different sections while preparing for Accenture because there is no one place at which you can find all the resources. So the main idea behind this material was to make it structured material as well as to give all the co previously asked questions for different different sections at one place only. And guys believe me many of these questions do repeat in the exam and these are previously asked questions of Accenture only. So the once you are prepared preparing for your exam you can prepare for this material it's highly reliable and it's at a very nominal price of rupees 99 so i've shown you the sample for common application ms office that we have question we have options we have correct answer around 110 question for ms office we have if i will show you the sample of accenture coding pdf so here 60 plus previously asked coding questions are there here proper question will be there sample input sample output is there explanation is there and the code is also there so these are well structured material that we have prepared okay keeping in mind the recent questions asked in Accenture. So if you are interested you are preparing for your Accenture exam you can check out this material. The link you can find in the description box and it is a very nominal price of rupees 99 okay. If you are interested do check them out. The links are in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. So now let's continue in the video. <coughs> okay so guys for saving time I have already written the code. So the code is also very simple it's small. So I have written in C++ but the logic will remain same for all, for all the languages, okay. So first of all we will be taking n as input, okay, that is the length of the array. Then we are declaring the array here and we are taking all the elements of array as input, <clears throat> okay. Then we are taking num as input for which we have to find out a difference and then we have to, I am taking diff as input, okay. Now I have declared a variable called int count equivalent to 0 that will store the number of elements that required the condition that is given in the code. Now what was the condition? So for every element what we will be checking whether the difference of absolute difference of current element and num is less than equivalent to the difference okay. Again I am telling you what was the condition if the absolute difference of the current number minor and the <coughs> number that is we have taken as input is less than equivalent to the required difference. If this is the case we are doing count plus plus okay. So once the loop is over we will be checking. If our count value is greater than 0 then we will simply print out the count value but if our count value is double equivalent to 0 then in that case we will be printing out minus 1. So let us see with the help of the example here. So we had 12, 3, 14. How many elements are there? These are 6 elements and 13 and 2 was the difference. Uh, okay just a second. 6 elements we are printing out. <coughs> Okay, just a second. Yeah, so six elements we are printing out, and thirteen was our required difference. Thirteen was required number, and two is the required difference. So answer of this should come as two. Oh, sorry, three. That is given as input. So here you can see three is given as input. Now let's just change it to some other thing where the difference will become let's suppose zero only. Not not zero. This number will become twenty, and difference will remain two. So in that case. No such condition is satisfied and we should give uh, come output as minus 1. So yeah, output is coming as minus 1. So this particular code will pass all the test cases that will be given to you. So guys, this was it for this video. I hope you liked the video. Please hit that like and subscribe button for this channel so that you can get to know about, know about more videos that I will be making in future and you can prepare for your Accenture exam. And if you are interested in this Accenture preparation material, the links are in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. Do check them out. Okay. So thank you for watching this video.